Oh, there's a movie, uh, damn, about the gangs, the mafia, Godfather, Godfather 3. The Godfather 3. A lot of the, the mafia in league with the Roman Catholic Church, they came away from that whole gangland uh, uh, obvious method, and they started grooming their children to be doctors, politicians, lawyers, to infiltrate corporate society and infiltrate positions of government, and they've just taken over. The mob has taken over. Because that's what they are. They are the mob, mafia with the mob mentality. That's them. Is your hand up, sweetie? No. Oh, okay. Now, as a result, a lot of high pink people in high positions of power, that most of them are Christian Catholics, what do they do? They go and confess their personal, most vital family secrets, political secrets, government secrets to the Jesuit militia in confession. So they got all this ammunition, and they got all they know who to, they know what they're doing because these people come and tell them everything because they don't know who they're talking to, they don't know who they're dealing with, and they just think, oh, you know, he's got on this, you know, this little collar, and he's just a little square. Some of the, man, them, them Catholic priests and bishops were some of the coldest killers you ever saw. They a cold piece of work. Especially the, 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 the extremely higher level initiated ones. They a piece of work. Now what a lot of people don't know is, remember I was telling you how to get raised up in the societies, a lot of these people would uh, give their boys over? A lot of these boys, especially if you became the favorite of somebody, you could wind up being the governor or a cardinal or a bishop yourself. And you could molest more boys. It's a game that they're playing. So um, all these means are used against anyone of any status to bring them into the Christian see, which means the jurisdiction, the word C-S-E-E -E, means the jurisdiction of a bishop. And in every community, even in the hood, it ain't 630 yet. What's with the bells? <laughs> we have 10 minutes for questions and answers. And after that, class, continue. continue. We're not doing questions and answers, are we? Yes. No, we're doing it no. now. Just continue. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm looking at the time, sweetie. Yeah. I know you got a baby, and I know you won't go home. <laughs> go, go ahead. The sea also represents water, and the Pope is the Holy See, which means that since everybody is now underwater, and they're on the water, they're all under my control. Well, once you're under the Christian sea, they can, they can bring you into the Christian sea and or exterminate you as well as confiscate your property, your goods, your wealth, your children, or whatever. And I want to say that even though I didn't finish giving you guys this rest of this, oh yeah, I got two more things. Let's go. By 1560, the Jesuits secured Austria and almost all of South Germany to the church. In 1761, a Scot, which is a Spartan, named John Stuart, the third Earl of Butte, got teenage King George William III's people to pass a law enforcing writs of assistance as revenue-raising warrants under the royal seal, securing law officers to take possession of lands without trial and without jury for the Americas. In 1754, the Maritime War, which is also known as the Great War, which is also known as the Seven Years' War, which is also known as the Great War for the Empire, which is also known as the French and Indian War, occurred. Now, this caused British Virginia to be attacked by the Franciscans, which is the Roman Catholic Church, who was helped, aided, and assisted by the frustrated Indians. They were like, these British are getting on our nerves. So they went and sided with the enemy, against the enemy, not knowing they were all the enemy. They were all the problem. At the end of the day, none of, us did, none of them did us right. Now, a British corporation called the Proprietors, that's the name of the corporation, the Proprietors, had Quaker Pennsylvania, but the Quakers stepped down. The Americas 
got overrun by French Roman Catholics or Franciscan Roman Catholics. These Catholics were still running from the Great Plague, and that included the Irish, the Scottish, the French, and these other European pink people who were running trying to find some liberty from taxation and oppression. They used their gangbanger mentality, like I said, to take everybody out. The Templars became known as the Teutonic Knights and the Rosicrucians in Germany and Austria, the Scottish Rite in England, Edinburgh, London, and Americans Freemasonry. And, because, you know, you got to keep in mind that all of the people that signed the Declaration of Independence were Masons except for five. The Illuminati is what they were called in Spain and Portugal. So you got to know that all these people are the same folks. And like I said, Columbus came here under the Red Cross of the Knights of Christ to take possession of Los Indias, which is the Americas, for King Ferdinand V of Spain, who happened to be the grandfather of Charles I and V, which was a Holy Roman Emperor. He wasn't at the time, but he was going to be the future Holy Roman Emperor. And Loyola was Charles's best friend, one of his best friends. Now, the word vicar is, syn well, let me take it back. The word agency used to be synonymous with or the same as the word vicar. The name or word city, in every single case, the word city signifies a bishop's seat. No place in England was called a city unless it was governed by a bishop. Rome is a federal city in the sea of Baltimore, Maryland that you now call Washington, D.C. And that is how you know we're in Rome. Tomorrow, I'll tell you how to survive their fall.